So you've already seen the length method, the len method in Python. Um, it's just this, len, friends. Uh, you're going to pass in some sort of uh, collection or a string. Um, so let's just define, let's look at it for a string. So we've got some string, and that's uh, the cat is running. And if we want to look at the length of that, of some string, then we're going to see, well, some, some number of letters, 18 letters. I'm sure if we counted this up, we would find 18, including, right, including this uh, space, right? So the len function, it's, it's great, super important. Um, I'm going to just throw in here really quick uh, the list function and we'll uh, consider len as being applicable to strings but also to things like lists and tuples and dictionaries and sets. We can get the size of any of these types of uh, collections of objects by using the len function. So I'm going to look at the len of string list and I don't think we'll be surprised that it is also 18. Now let's let's just print these just to you know take a quick look. We'll print some string and we'll print string list and we can take a look at the oops at the differences between these. Um, the cat is running, that's a string, right? And all the list function has done is it's broken the string into a list of the individual characters in the string. So len is going to become really important when we get to loopage, right? So when you use a for loop to iterate across something, you're going to use len quite a lot. And you're going to use it for the purpose of indexing, which we'll get into later.